Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'da habitifillah From the fawaid and benefits of tawheed and the principles and usul of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah is knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with uh, tawheed and prohibits us from shirk uh, Imam Muhammad rahimahullah ta'ala he said a'adham ma amr allahu bihi a tawheed wa a'adham ma naha anhu a shirk he said that the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with is Tawheed, is worshipping Him tabarak wa ta'ala alone. And the most severe thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us against is shirk, is polytheism, is associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship or in any, anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, قُلْ تَعَالُوا أَتْلُوا مَا حَرَمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ أَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ Ihsana. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Fi kitab al kareem Say uh, Come and I will recite to you What your Lord has uh, prohibited you from That you do not uh, associate partners with him associate any partners with him and be righteous uh, to one's parents Imam bin Baz uh, mentions with regards to this he mentions that he says ذَكَرَ هَذَهِ الْآيَةَ لِمَا فِيهَا مِنْ بَيَانْ تَحْرِيمَ الشِّرْكِ he said the, this uh, verse was mentioned uh, here in this book, Kitab al-Tawheed, in this particular place, due to the what of what it prohibits and warns uh, against the pro- in, in the prohibition of shirk, that this ayat is proof, is evidence to show the prohibition of shirk, and then the Imam he mentions that when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says "school" here, that he is addressing the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam should uh, was ordered to say this to address mankind, meaning mankind, all of the people of Shirk, whether they be Jews, Christians, uh, elephant worshippers, uh, you know, all of the various pagans that li- lived, the pagan Arabs uh, at the time of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that were around him. But it was for all of mankind, for the various uh, people who worship the various things that had various different uh, deities that they worship that this ayah is was a command to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in fact a command to us to call people to call them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and call them and warn them of the severity of shirk of polytheism and the imam mentions that here, ma harma rabbukum alaykum, that he says that this means this is based upon al wa an yaqeen la an shak wa 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 dhan. He says that this uh, verse and this commandment and this commandment to tawheed and prohibition of shirk is based upon knowledge that. Uh, you should have knowledge of the muharramat, of what's haram, and what's halal, and what Allah is prohibiting, your Lord is prohibiting you from, based on knowledge, and certainty, not based upon doubtfulness, and, uh, you know, suspicion, or, you know, not being certain, in and really understanding, what your Lord has commanded you to do, because many people, much of the creation, they don't know, they really don't know that their divine purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, wa ma khalaktu al-jinn wa l-insi li li'abudun. I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. If that is our divine purpose, look how many people don't know. They, they just think that it's eating and drinking and sleeping and chasing their desires. That's it. That's it. So it's very important that we call the people and invite them to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this shows the taqseer that we have. Also, he mentions from the Muharramat, it's not just shirk, but it's all the sins. Shirk is the a'adham, 
it's the greatest, the most severe of those sins, but also disobedience to one's parents, stealing, killing, uh, committing adultery, and all the other things that uh, Islam has prohibited us, that the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has prohibited us from doing and engaging in. All of that is prohibited and that we have to teach people. So it shows us the importance of da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it shows us the importance that that da'wah is calling to the book of Allah and the son of the messenger of Allah. And it shows us the importance of that da'wah, that that da'wah is also the da'wah to Tawheed. And that the minhaj rabbaniyah is the da'wah to Tawheed, is the da'wah minhaj al-anbiya. It's what the, the anbiya, the prophets alayhim after salatu wa salam called. They all called to the worship of Allah alone. And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and to avoid uh, and, and be and warn against the ta'gut, those, those things worship besides Allah. And we ask Allah the, the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be callers to Tawheed and callers and warners uh, against shirk.